Hey, it's Gavin here from walshafadaway.com. I hope you're well and uh, hope you're ready because we're going to do a 12-minute belly blitz. So I've got a series of exercises that we're going to go through, cardio and a bit of core. I'm going to try and fire up those lungs as well so we can burn some of this chub. Hope that sounds like a plan. Now, I've got a couple of minutes before we start things off because I said we'll start at 12. That's what I'm going to do, but I thought I'd jump on here and obviously get on early to see if anyone has any questions, and uh, see what everyone's up to. So if you're watching this, and you're ready to do this 12-minute belly blitz with me, say hello, let me know where you're from. If you have any questions, uh, pop them down below. And if you can't do this routine right now, that's absolutely fine. Make sure you save it, okay? So uh, somewhere along the box, on the top, somewhere like that, you can save the video for later on. And I recommend if you are watching any of my videos similar to this 12-minute belly blitz that you save them so you can do them later on and you have a little bit of a library of these routines that you can do with me. So in a moment, we're going to get stuck in. So as I said, if you're on this video, give me some likes, give me some love, tag people, share it, tell your neighbors, tell the random people in the street, let them know. Now, uh, before we get started, we best limber up a little bit. So if you're tiny anywhere, stretch out those muscles, get them ready. We're going to kick things off in about a minute or so okay so as i said 12 minute belly blitz hope you're ready for this series of uh of exercises coming up cardio and abs i'm going to have a look if so if you said hello i can't quite see the screen from here so if you said hello i'm going to come have a look in a second so keep those likes keep those loves coming share tag people that you know who might want to do this routine maybe not now but later on so they might say oh someone tagged me on that i can i can jump in with them all right, so 12 minutes coming up. Hope you're ready. I say, I'm just stretching out any, any muscles that might be a little bit tight, and then we're going to get cracking. All right. Ready for action. So who have we got on here? Ah, Dali. Dali to field. Hello. Hope you're well. You ready? Well, let's do this. Okay, so 12 minutes. Got my time on the go on the floor. So we're going to work through the first exercise is seal jack. So seal jack is this one. Very, very simple exercise. However... Some people with dodgy knees can't do that sort of thing. A bit too much impact. So what you can do is a step and a step. Speed it up. So you actually get your heart rate up, okay? Now, any questions, anything like that, pop them down in the comments below. Otherwise, we're going to get cracking. All right, so let's kick things off. Here we go. So, steel jacks, one minute. There's no rest throughout this entire workout, okay? No rest. 12 minutes of action. However, if you do need to rest at any point, you can. That's absolutely fine. That's not a problem. You don't need any superheroes, especially if you're just getting started with this exercise malarkey. That's absolutely fine. Now, on these seal jacks, bring those arms at shoulder height. Try and keep your breathing in order. And if you're doing the modified version with a step, step, try and speed it up, okay? Let's get that heart rate up. Let's get those lungs working. See what we can do. Try and burn some of that belly chub, yeah? All right, so I hope you're still with me. Try and keep those arms up at shoulder height. Balance those legs out. Try and drop the heels down a touch as well. A lot of people, when they're doing jumping jacks, seal jacks, will stay on the toes all the time. So if you've got tight calves, that's not a good idea for you. All right, so there's the beeps. I'm going to go drop down to the ground. Now, what we're going to do here, some rolling side planks. So with the side planks, arms like this. Okay, so heads up, have a look. So you're down on the ground. Feet wide, you're going to roll to one side. So strong shoulder, hips all strong there. Roll to the other side. Now if you can't do this off, you struggle with a plank. An elevated position can help you. Let's say, just try it out. If you need to rest at any point during the minute, that's absolutely fine. Got no problems with that. I hope you can see everything here. I've got the sun shining on the screen, so... Fingers crossed you can. Let's keep it going. Roll with it. Now notice my feet are on the side. So as you roll, the feet ought to be right on the sides. And there's the beeps again. All right, next up, our third exercise. We're going to do a squat with a toe tap. So you're going to drop into your squat, come up, tap your toe, or somewhere thereabouts, up, tap. Okay, and now once you've got the hang of that, you're looking to speed it up. So really fire it up. As soon as you stand tall, you bring in the knee up. 
trying to get that breathing in order as well. But because I know you're short of time, you've got to speed things up a little bit to get the most out of these exercise routines so that afterwards your hormones start to, to work with you and you create a bit of an afterburn effect. So you're burning more calories after the workout, but what's more important is we try and spike something called growth hormone, which will push insulin down, which will mean it's easier to burn the chub. Okay, so keep with me. Woo. All right, I've got two options for you. You've got a walking plank or just a high plank. The high plank is this one. So you're in this position. Now, if that's fine for you, then try a walking plank. So you're gonna go high to low. So up and down. Now, as you drop down, what I want is to be solid. So I don't want your hips sagging down here or your bum up in the air either. That's no good. So you're controlled all the way through. Breathe out as you come to the top. Keep the balance. Now, if my feet are a little bit wider, that's to help me balance. Now, we haven't got long left on here. Come on, stay with it. My mat's moving away from me. Keep the breathing going. There we go. All right, our next exercise is the old burpees, okay? Now I'm gonna show you a modified version, two different ones. First up, you've got the regular burpee. See, I'm elevated here, just your regular burpee. Jump up, you can go lower than that. It's gonna make it a bit more difficult. And if you can't do either of those, maybe that's a bit too much impact. Do the step out version. So step, 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 up. And you don't even have to jump if you don't want to, okay? So I'm trying to give you different options, especially if your knees aren't up to the job. However, if your knees are good, and you're relatively uh, fit and healthy, down to the ground, that's what we want. So hands down, kick it back, jump up. So this is a, a high intensity move. It's definitely gonna help you burn more chub, but it's not one that a lot of people enjoy doing for some reason. I can't think why. All right, nearly there. All right, so next round we do that, looking a little bit quicker. Now, next exercise, it's called a Spider-Man plank. So you're in the low plank, and you're gonna bring your knee up to the outside. Let me show you. See here? You rock your shoulders forward slightly, and back. Opposite side, boom. So if you can do that, great. Otherwise, it's just a low plank, or perhaps do an elevated version. That's gonna help you out as well. So you could do it up here. There's nothing wrong with that. And same, even higher if you've got somewhere at home. So you can always modify these exercises. But let me get my ass down here. Let me, let me get stuck in here. Just breathing out, slightly rocking forward. This is a tough one as well. There we go. So that's one round we've done. So back on the seal jacks. Now things should be heating up a little bit. You keep going. I'm just gonna check what's going on over here. You love my, thanks Rosari. Thank you very much. I hope you're doing this one. So let's get back on it. Maybe if you're doing the modified version, that's fine. But you've gotta speed it up. It's no good doing this business. That's no good. You've gotta get the intensity, get your heart rate up. There's always ways to do that, even if you can't do the higher impact exercises, that's, that's fine. And if at any point you're struggling, that's okay. Take a breather, give yourself a three second countdown in your head, jump back in. All right, next up, we've got those rolling side planks. Come on, strong. Arms high, shoulder height. Here we go, two, one back down, so those rolling side planks. Now if you're just watching this, make sure you give me some likes, give me some love, hit that share button. Rolling side planks, this position, let me show you, feet wide, roll onto the side, strong legs, arm up, roll, 
and roll. So again, you can do this on an elevated platform or if you're really struggling, just hold the plank for now. I'm sure you should be able to master, or muster, I should say, at least one or two of these. And if you need to rest, so be it. That's fine. You're work in progress. Keep coming, keep coming. Roll with it. Last few seconds. Two, one. Right, to the squat with toe tap. So here we go. So we're down low, bring that foot up, down low, bring it up. Now, something I didn't point out earlier is keeping your back in shape. What I don't want to see is this. So if you've got a mirror at home, have a quick sideways glance, have a look. Boom. Sit on the heels, get your bum down, keep your head up and your back straight. And if you can, inject a bit more pace. Let's go. Springing out of it like a jack in a box. And you probably hear all the seagulls whiffing past. They're right noisy buggers. But I live in Brighton, on the south coast of England, and there's no help in that. All right, just over 10 seconds. You're going on that high to low plank, that walking plank. Come on. All right, high to low. Now, if you struggle, remember, you just do the high plank. So here's your high plank. However, if you're a little more advanced, drop down, come back up. And again, once again, make sure your hips are up in the air like this. Hands are under the shoulders. And as you drop down, you let those hips drop down a touch too. Back at it. Come on now. Strong shoulders. Trying to keep the belly button pulled in towards the spine. Almost done. Almost there. Core is working double time now. Nearly there. Nearly there. I hope we're nearly there. There we go. One more. One more. For a minute then, I thought my, uh, my timer had stopped working. So next up, back on those burpees. I'm gonna show you again, just in case you're jumping in halfway through this video. Elevate the burpees first. If you can't handle those, pick a height that suits you. And if even those two don't work out, walk out version. Walk out version. However, as I said, if you're more advanced, do the full burpees. So, down to the ground. Knees in and out, and I try and get the knees all the way to the elbows. We're almost done, just one more exercise to go after this. Come on, strong now, strong finish. Lift the head up as you jump high. Your boy Walsh is starting to work now. All right, that's the burpees done. That's a hard work out of the way. Now we're down to the ground. The Spider-Man planks. If you struggle with this one, again, elevated version. That's absolutely fine. Drop down. I'm liking those likes and those love hearts. And my favorite is those, those wow ones. They're the best ones. So stick a few of them on there. All right, so here we go. Last exercise. <sighs> Breathe out as you bring your knees up. Remember, if you need to rest at any point, that's fine. Keep strong with it. My shoulders are tiring now. Come on, grit the teeth, finish off strong. Don't rush it. One more. And voila! So as you can see, I'm a little red face there. But that's it, 12 minutes. Sometimes that is all you need. So if you've done that with me, well done. Who have we got on here? Good, nice one, James. Hope you enjoyed that. Hey, Sue. 
that's okay, don't you can do the modified versions. Absolutely. When it comes to those modified versions, there's so many people with you know, iffy knees, hips, but are looking to try and get that heart rate up, which you know, the high intensity stuff does work. But when you've got dodgy knees, hips, back, things like that, you can't do all the jumping up and down. So the modified versions work nicely. And just something as simple as a chair, hands on a chair, table, whether it's burpees, press-ups, all those sort of business, you can still do them. But for now, time to stretch it out. Let's finish this off. But well done if you did that with me. And before you go, if you haven't got my seven-day hit challenge, I'm going to pop it a link down in the comments below where you can pick that up to get similar workouts. There's 10 minute workouts, enough for seven days. You can rotate them, use them whenever you want. But I've also got a bunch of recipes that will help you out. Try and get you back into the routine of doing regular exercise and, and trying to boost your health. So check them out in a moment. I'll pop them down in the, in the comments section. And if, uh, if you survive that, let me know. If you're watching later on, whatever, give me a shout, give me some thumbs up. Stretching out those hammies, so pushing your heels down into the ground, lift your butt up high. Don't necessarily have to take the chest down. Push your heels down, lift your butt up. Stay looking at me. All right, so that was a good one, a good 12 minutes. And the key to that, you know, some people think, oh, I could do an extra round or an extra round. But you don't necessarily need to add an extra round. Just on that second round, use the first round as a bit of a warm that second round, go for it. Really, really tonk it, go, go as hard as you can. All right, spin it around to the side, pushing the hips forward, raise an arm up. So the arm that's up is the knee from behind. Leaning over to the side, so we're stretching out the pocket here, that hip flexor muscle. That are often too tight because of everyone sitting down all day. Stretch out this, and you might notice a little bit of a difference in your tummy as well, because a lot of, a lot of people, because their, their posture is a bit shoddy, causes their stomach just to bulge out. All right, so we can stretch out these muscles. That's gonna give the illusion that uh, everything's good there. Reach up high. So once again, if you did do that with me, great stuff. I know a lot of people will be working. Don't have the luxury to, uh, to bang out a midday workout with me. But save the video for later if you want to do it again, okay? Reaching down one more time. All right, quads. Knees in the balance. Knees together, push those hips forward. It's going to get a better stretch. If you can as well, you can put your knee on the ground in this position. That's a, that's a way better stretch if you can manage it. You're here in this position. So I'm going to do the same on the other side. Or you can stand if you want as well if you can't reach. Or even lie down if you're really struggling. I know, once again, I know people have issues with their posture and can't reach this far behind themselves. So lie down, pull it back. That'll do the job as well. All right, roll the shoulders out. We are all done. So I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know below whether you're watching now or watching later on. And look out for these live workouts. Somewhere along this video, there should be a notification for live videos. So make sure you hit that. And then next time I do one of these, you'll be one of the first to know. All right, so bye for now, and I'll catch you next time.